Hi, I'm David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. When I, now, we started this new series called The Bible Treasures where I'm sharing with you different Bible verses and passages that I've memorized throughout my walk with Jesus that have been such an encouragement, such a help to me, and I know that they're going to be of great help to you too. So this week, we're looking at Hebrews chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. So as we get started, let me read that to you from the NIV. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are yet was without sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Now what is so astounding about verse 15 is it, it tells us what God is going to give us when we do come before the throne of grace. He is going to give us something that we do not deserve. We deserve judgment. We deserve for God to clobber us because we have sinned. We have rebelled. We are a mess. But God is drawing us into his presence, not because he wants to clobber us, but because he wants to grant us mercy. What is mercy? What is it is when God gives us that which is so totally undeserved. It is sympathy, it is love, it is compassion. And he gives it to us. We don't deserve it, but he gives it to us based all on his love for us. You see, Jesus has made this possible. He is the one that has uh, brought us into the throne room. And as we've come into the throne room and stand before God at the throne of grace, the first thing that God wants to give us is mercy. Now, the wonderful thing about mercy is the fact that mercy is to meet your present need and looking back at the past. You see, you don't, you don't need mercy for tomorrow, because tomorrow hasn't happened yet. Now, come tomorrow, we're going to need to go before God's throne of grace and receive mercy for that day. But for right now, looking at all the mess that we've made in the past and looking at our present, we need God's mercy. We need God to give us what we do not deserve, his compassion, his sympathy, his love. And that's what God, the very first thing he wants to offer us is his mercy. Oh, but it gets even better. So join me tomorrow and we're going to look at what comes next. It is amazing. So I'll see you tomorrow.